Hi, I'm Jeff Keith from Wheatstone. We are calling the Vorsis Air Hour Processor the Radio Clean Machine because it delivers the cleanest on-air sound possible in radio today while still being competitive. A key to this performance is our innovative 31-band limiter. It's the only one in the radio processor market. 31-band technology can significantly improve the clarity and detail of the station's sound while reducing processing artifacts. And there are two reasons for this. The first has to do with what happens when a single band is activated on any multi-band limiter. Here is Wheatstone's Mike Erickson in our processing lab to explain. Thanks, Jeff. The primary purpose of a limiter is to prevent sounds in an audio signal from exceeding a set level. Here's an illustration of a common multiband limiter, where a 2 kHz signal is causing limiter band 4 to achieve 10 dB of limiting. You can easily see that a significant portion of the overall audio spectrum, well above and below the 2 kHz signal, has also been limited or reduced. This illustrates how much of the audio spectrum is being reduced and how much less sound detail will make its way to the listener. By contrast, here is an illustration of a 31 band limiter operating under the same condition, an isolated 2 kHz signal requiring 10 dB of limiting. As you can see, only the 2 kHz signal is being limited and the rest of the audio spectrum is virtually untouched. Because a much narrower portion of the audio spectrum is reduced, far less sound detail is lost. Listeners often describe the sound of our 31 band limiter as being more open, cleaner, and more natural sounding. But what is actually happening here is that they are hearing more detail in the audio, detail that is usually destroyed by the behavior of conventional multiband limiters. In simple terms, the high resolution of a 31 band limiter leaves more of the original audio signal untouched so listeners hear more of the original sound and not the sound of the limiter working. Thanks, Mike. You can see the basic advantage of a 31 band limiter. When the same processing work can be accomplished within a narrower band, far less sound detail is lost and far less distortion results. But there's yet another reason why the RR delivers cleaner sound, and it has to do with how the individual limiter bands interact. As the sound of a radio station passes through a processor, the bands of the multiband section aren't really working in isolation. They affect one another because of natural leakage into adjacent bands. Here we see the eight bands of the eight band limiter. Look at what happens when band four is activated. Notice how the limiter correctly reduces the level of the energy in band four. But notice also because the adjacent limiter bands are interconnected acoustically, the bands above and below band four are also limited. As a result, this reduces the overall loudness within not just band 4, but in bands 3 and 5 as well. Overall, 37.5% of the entire audio spectrum has been affected. That is a lot of sound detail that will never be heard by listeners, and a large percentage of the station signal that will be distorted. If we were to apply the same math to other limiters, look at what we see. On a 6-band limiter, 50% of the audio spectrum is affected. On a 5-band limiter, 60% of the audio spectrum is affected. But on a 31-band limiter, only 9.5% of the audio spectrum has been affected. Thanks, Jeff. There is a big difference between reducing sound detail on 50% or more of a station's entire audio signal versus 9.5%. If you do a side-by-side -side listening comparison, you will hear this difference. Until you have compared the cleaner sound of the Air Aura, the Radio Clean Machine, you may never know just how clean your station's audio can sound. Are you curious to hear how clean the sound of the Air Aura 31 band limiter is when compared to your current processor? Give us a call to arrange for a demonstration or log on to RadioCleanMachine.com for more information. Give us a call. We'll be listening.